Okie dokie, pokey. Well, good morning, everybody, and it's cast time once again. And, um, let me go ahead and intro this music real quick. <clears throat> and, um, it's... The jail, the mark, uh, doing weird. Can't really pronounce it. Um, I believe this is more dungeon synth music. Not really feeling it right now, but the same problem I had yesterday. The stuff I'm actually wanting to listen to is all copyrighted shit, so I gotta... I gotta, yeah, I gotta go back to the, uh, the free-to-use stuff, or presumably, anyway. So, let me go ahead and fire this up. <sighs> okay, um, well, to start with, don't want to go into too much detail on this. Um, I already, uh, <clears throat> I already made a video about it. Um, just, I got a new build up and running. Uh, so far, so good. Um, but yeah, it's it's uh it's centered around the uh, the new elementalist class. So I think I found a I think I found a build that actually works pretty well with it. Um, I still can't do like super top tier stuff with it or anything. I have to I have to keep it fairly low, or I have, I'm probably like mid tier content. But originally, the fastest way to level a class in this game is you actually want to spam super low level content like level one stuff the easiest but doing i'm i'm burnt to a crisp from doing that for so much or for so long because that i mean it is the most efficient way to do it but it's also the most boring boring and repetitive so i had it so i had a so i had to do like mid-tier kind of stuff so yeah it was getting monotonous but anyway, um, again, enough of that. I already made a video about it, so. Um, but one big thing that I started doing is, uh, I started watching, uh, I have season one of Planet Earth. Um, I started watching, uh, I think, um, uh, I bought the series, if, if I'm reading it right, um, April something of 2013. So yeah, I, I bought this almost 10 years ago. I think I watched like the first five or so episodes and then just completely forgot about it. So yeah, I'm I pull this sucker out of the pull this out of the pull it out of the mothballs in the attic and just started watching some of these because I love me some nature shows. Um, but especially I think one of the biggest one big reason why is or at least with Planet Earth, um, as far as I can recall, they don't try to inject politics or environmentalism or climate change or anything like that it's just straight up all about nature but i've seen um i've seen some nature shows over the years where they do that it really pisses me off it really kills the mood you know and, and yeah and i get it i get it and i totally agree with it climate change is a serious issue especially these days you know it, you know it's basically fucking up the fucking up the planet in all sorts of different ways you know it's you know, it's, it's becoming a new paradigm that me, nor anybody else for that matter, want anything to do with. So, alright, that being said though, keep the shit out of uh, nature shows though. You know, I'm there to, you know, I'm there to watch nature. Not, not a PSA about environmentalism. So, but like I said, one of the reasons why I like Planet Earth so much is, as far as I know, they don't have any of this stuff in there. It's just, Straight up, all about nature, you know. But it, I, it to be to be fair though, it also uh, the series first came out like the mid two thousands. Well, back when climate change wasn't near wasn't as much of an issue as it is now. I mean, I mean, granted, yeah, it's always been there, probably ever since uh probably the industrial revolution when factories started getting built and the smokestacks and stuff like that. So climate change it pretty much uh, started back back then, but now it's pretty much reached a fever pitch. So they probably didn't. So at the time they were making this, you know, climate change wasn't that much of, wasn't as much of an issue. So they might have also saw less of a reason to talk about it. Man, I can hardly hear that. Yeah, 
Yeah, I could hardly hear that. Here, let me... Okay, I'm going to have to abort this one. Alright, I'll just go ahead and grab this next one. Um, again, not by, not by choice. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this one on. This is, uh, Dungeons and Dragons synth. Uh, Cobalt, the Valley of the Forgotten Secrets. Uh, just, I, I want to hear something. But it, that last album was just, was basically just ambience. I could hardly hear anything, so... Sorry if this bugs you, but like I said, this isn't my choice. You know, but getting back to what I was saying, yeah, I'm definitely going to be watching this stuff a lot more. You know, I, mean, I think especially these days with um, with the planet being what it is, you know, with how, with, you know, I, for lack of a better word, how wounded this planet is. You know, so it's, it'd be kind of nice to watch what once was. You know, how nature was back in the day. So, so yeah, like I said, definitely going to be watching this stuff more often. Um, and next thing, and something, something else I might try doing in the future... Um, I'm gonna try making custom thumbnails. It just the reason being is uh, I think it was on yesterday's cast. The the th typically the thumbnail I like to use for them is whatever thumbnail YouTube used for their for whatever video I played during my cast. Well, this time around, I couldn't use that. I couldn't use the uh, YouTube thumbnail because it was over two megabytes. So, and I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go um, browsing Google to try to find another suitable image. It just wouldn't feel right, so I just went ahead and um, just said fuck it and typed in my own little custom thumbnail. So after doing that and finding that up, uh, it really wasn't that hard to do. You know, so I thought maybe I just, just thought I'd just go ahead and maybe try my hand at uh, making my own. But but on the other, but it's definitely not going to be any. Anything like real slick or, you know, something that uh, something that would look like I probably spent almost a week in making, you know. For lack of a better word, overproduced. But yeah, there's... Oh God, they're sophisticated. That's the word I'm looking for. You know, I just want to keep it simple. You know, I just want to keep my thumbnail simple. Because... You know, because I want to make a... I, I shouldn't have to spend more time making a th custom thumbnail than it would take to upload my video. You know, I, I want to be able to make a custom you know, custom thumbnail just like that. You know. Usually my videos, typically my... Uh, typically my videos are at the most one gigabyte. But most other times, especially my cast videos, they're often smaller. So they upload like they upload pretty quick, like around five minutes or so. It shouldn't be taking me longer than five minutes to make a custom thumbnail for that. Otherwise, it's sums off. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't make much sense. Alright. Gonna have to turn that down a bit. Nice to have something I can hear, but you know. But like I said, this is this is gonna be a work in progress, and even then, it may not be something that I that I might be doing on a consistent basis either. Like I said, if I don't have any time, I'm just gonna go with the thumbnail that was on the YouTube video or or whatever's on a whatever's on Gems of War. Like the usually when I start my videos, I'm often in the main map, you know, that kind of thing. I don't know, I guess, um, for lack of a better word, 
branding reasons. You know, trying to start a brand. I guess it, it seems to be a, a pretty popular word tossed around in, uh, in streaming circles, in content creation circles, branding. You know, promote your brand. Whereas, uh, for the longest, you know, whereas my brand is typically just streaming while sitting on the floor and up until recently playing vinyl records, that was my brand. You know, mine was, you know, no fluff. Unpretentiousness. I think that's what it is. I think that's the word I'm looking for. So, but... Okay, um, well, a little bit shorter than I was expecting, but oh well, it happens. Um, so yeah, I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. Um, a little bit on the embarrassing side, but I mean, like I said, it happens from time to time. Sometimes I just come up short. Usually I try to do these casts around 15, I try to make these casts last around 15 minutes. So I'm not blowing myself out making these 30, 45 minutes, minute videos totally empty in the chambers and all that and then causing me to not have much to say on the next cast just trying to pace myself not to mention having super long videos is uh, also too much of a gamble because if my video gets a uh, copyright claim by YouTube that that forces me to have to delete the video because I'm not gonna bother trying to appeal it or anything and that would need me uh, no, leaving me no other option than to upload it to Twitch and then I gotta go through the whole arduous task of uh, um, instant messaging every single one of my followers and regulars that, hey, here, here's my cast video because YouTube copyright claimed it, you know, that kind of thing. So, anyway. Anyway, I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. So, like I said, I pretty much said all the things I wanted to say this morning. So, But otherwise, hey, thanks for um, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, and... Because it's uh, Thanksgiving week, they're kind of doing it different this year. Um, I am off tonight. Um, I'm off tonight, but um, they they kind of have they they kind of had they kind of decided to screw over the employees, and we don't we don't actually get holiday pay for Thanksgiving. Uh, we have to use our we we have to use our a lot of time off for it. So yeah, we kind of got fucked out in that department. But anyway, getting back to what I was saying, um, I'm off tonight, so I should be able to do another cast tomorrow morning. So, but until then, though, thanks again for coming around, everybody, and see you all next time. Take care.